looking at is the American dream. The American dream. Making history, the Associated Press declaring Winsome Sears the winner in Virginia's lieutenant governor's race, making her the first female and woman of color elected to statewide office in the Old Dominion. Born in Jamaica, Sears is a mother of three, a former state legislator, a business owner, and a Marine veteran. And Sears is not shy about her support for the Second Amendment, posting this picture that went viral of herself bearing arms at a gun range. She also spoke last night of being a Marine and an immigrant in a patriotic speech. I am not even first generation American. When I joined the Marine Corps, I was still a Jamaican, but this country had done so much for me. I was willing, willing to die for this country. Beautiful. Well, you wouldn't have seen that speech, Juan, if you were watching CNN and MSNBC, who just chose not to air it. Don't you think that deserved airtime? That's a pretty notable achievement there for Winsome Sears. Oh, yeah. And just on an emotional level, you just got to, you know, embrace her. That, that, by the way, you know, much like Mia Love, remember Mia Love, who was a, a black congresswoman, course, Republican yeah. from Utah. It, it, she's of Haitian immigrant heritage. Here you get, uh, you know, uh, someone from Jamaican immigrant heritage. I think these are wonderful stories. Now, let me just say, I think she didn't get many votes from Democrats or even minorities. She lost to Bobby Scott uh, when she tried to challenge him for, the, I think it's the third district, you know, a heavily black area uh, in that Norfolk area. But to me, this still stands out as a wonderful story. But again, she is a Republican uh, victory, and you have to see it as such. She's a Republican victor, which is why she doesn't get airtime on liberal networks. Uh, also, I'm not hearing too much of Martha, is Jason Mures, who's currently in the lead for attorney general, Republican candidate. He would be the first Latino attorney general. This was a pretty diverse uh, Republican group here and, and very high achievements that should have been recognized. Yeah, uh, based on our exit polls, uh, the Yunkin camp and all of the other candidates in Virginia did very well with Latino voters. Um, I, what I think is really so uh, worth pointing out with Winsome Sears is another line that she said last night. She said, in case you haven't noticed, I am black and I've been black all my life. She said, but that is not what this is about. Mm -hmm. yeah. So she doesn't want to be, you know, and I think a lot of women feel this way. I think a lot of Latinos feel this way, you know, that they want to be chosen and elected on their merits, on what they want to do, in this case, for the Commonwealth of Virginia, not because they want to be pointed out as the first this or the first that. Absolutely. Well said. And Winsome Sears, I mean, wow, she, what a background. She ran a women's homeless shelter as well, Harris. Mm -hmm. yeah, Remarkable I mean, woman. She has a lot of things that we consider to be, as Americans, aspirational. You know, and, and when you talk about her resume, I, I love the way Martha put it, and, and she's quoting Winsome Sears, of course. You know, it's not about being female. It's not about being the first black this or that. Um, but she's willing to do what many Americans aren't. She's willing to put herself on the line for America. Mm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, and that color is red, white, and blue. And you don't get credit for that over on the other outlets. And, and if you do, I must be missing it. Somebody correct it. But, you know, I'm going to think it doesn't matter what CNN and MS and all those other stations, those networks focus on if it's not going to be something that's positive. Mm. So if they're going to point it out and then, you know, not have it be actually something to celebrate, if they're just going to tolerate it, oh, it's a Republican, they don't agree with it, so we'll tolerate the fact because she's black. Um, that, that doesn't take us anywhere. So it's okay if they just sit down and be quiet. Right. Well, another thing they're being very quiet about, Emily, according to Fox News voter analysis, <laughs> guess what? Glenn Youngkin won the Latino vote 55 to 44 percent, a huge achievement that should really scare Democrats heading into the midterms. Absolutely. A vote that comprised 10 percent there of the voting population in Virginia, which I mentioned in the in the first segment, right? They were prominent at that victory speech. You could see those signs. Um, and just on Winsome Sears for a moment, she is a remarkable woman. She was also the first black female elected to the Virginia 
Virginia House of Delegates. She also served on the Virginia Board of Education, which is a really important thing, again, for those voters there that placed education as their top priority issue. And she was a President Bush uh, presidential nominee or appointee, excuse me, for the Veterans Affairs Board on women. She has a remarkable history of service. And what I found so fascinating as well is that in her victory speech, when she said, she said, education will lift us out of poverty. She said, we're going to have safer neighborhoods, safer communities, and our children are going to get a good education. The point, again, is issue over some box that she checked. It's, it's safety and Americans over some political party. And her hashtag was vote for America. 2021. And I have to just yeah. close by saying, if you recall, when then Vice President elect Kamala Harris tweeted out one of her first tweets, she said, Black women in this country are too often overlooked. And I just wonder if she will reach out and congratulate it's Winston Sears. It's an interesting Sears. point yeah. because Biden said he was looking for a Black woman. And what Winston Sears said is that she's looking to represent for America. Yeah. We'll see if they congratulate it'd, her. We'll see if they invite her. It'd be, be nice there. to have the vice president say something, but uh, probably not because the left fears when some Sears. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.